On December 10, 1941, I was the first officer aboard the U-606. We were designated with the task of disrupting Allied convoy ships off the western coast of Ireland. The mission was a success, and we managed to sink eight Allied ships in the span of four weeks. Upon completing our task, we returned to our home port of Bergen, where upon arrival I was informed by my captain that I would be promoted and soon take command of my own U-boat in the coming weeks. My dream of having my own crew and U-boat were finally coming to life. On January 11th, 1942, I reported to my command station at La Rochelle. I was informed that my crew was young and inexperienced, but eager to set sail and make a name for themselves. I was given command of the U-96, which coming from the more advanced U-606 only a couple weeks earlier was certainly a downgrade. The U-96 was rough around the edges and its age was showing, but that didn't matter to me. This was my boat and I was as eager as ever to finally set sail and hopefully one day have my name be amongst the other great U-boat captains in history. This is my story. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Grace Jester and welcome to my new series of U-Boat. I am uh, super excited about this game. I haven't played too much of it. I've been watching a lot of YouTubers play it and it looks absolutely fantastic. I can't wait to start the series. I can't wait to uh, start getting our crew out there, sinking some ships and making a name for ourselves. I hope you guys are excited because I know I am. So. We are out here just off the uh, coast of France, and we have accepted our first mission. We need to go to the Celtic Sea over here, and we need to go travel 2,500 kilometers inside the marked area, as well as sink 10,000 tons worth of shipping. And that can be anywhere. It doesn't have to be in the green circle or the green square, excuse me. That can be anywhere along the way, outside of it, or while inside it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start making our way over there. We have our Captain Carl Schmidt. He is ready to rock and roll, brand new, with a beautiful new U-boat, U-96. I mean, I say new, it looks it looks rugged, but it's, uh, it's our boat, and it looks beautiful. So we're gonna get out there, let's go try and get our first ship under the belt. Here we go. All right, 15 January 1941 at 14.21 hours, and we have officially reached the destination in which we need to get to. I'm going to start setting up some patrolling going around here. We'll just do some simple zigzag lines here. Let's see what we come across. Right in the opening here between Ireland and England, I can't imagine that we would go through here and not come across some sort of shipping, whether it be naval battleships cruisers or destroyers and or cargo ships because they have to be here they, this is their way in so we'll get a set of course here we'll increase to 1800 oh, patrol check sector let's go ahead and send that off the bdu let them know we've arrived get that experience under our belt so for anyone watching if you guys have any kind of tips that you can give me for this game i am more than welcome backseat drivers come on right ahead let me know what i need to know how maybe some quick uh, quick keys I need to know in order to get people to maybe man the deck gun real fast, anything like that. Any and all help is uh, seriously greatly appreciated. Looks like we got a message on the BDU over here, radio transmission. Let's go ahead and go to our radio man wherever he is. There you are, sir. And let's see what's going on. All right, we have received our first BDU navigation. So it looks like we need to go find a U-boat. The U-827 has gone missing. Its last known coordinates are. 49.69 north by 10.42 west. Please investigate before 19 January 1941, 1840 hours. We got plenty of time to get over there. Contact was added on the map. Awesome. All right. Looks like we need to cancel our zigzag movement and we are going to go straight over to the U boat over here. See what we can do. All right. We are in the area of the U boat, although I am not seeing it on the map. It is pretty dark out though. It might be out here, but I'm just not seeing it. So we're going to have to patrol around the area just a little longer, try and figure out what's going on. Unless it's already sunk and we were just too late. Here's where it's supposed to be, but it's just not there. All right, we found her. She's way off in the distance over here. We can get a lock on that. Where are we? We are at 5-5 five, five degrees. Go ahead and pick up speed really quick and let's go investigate this ship. 
All right, here we are. We have reached her. Dead in the water. Let's go ahead and send out someone. Send a team to investigate, definitely. We'll send... Uh, let's just send three crewmen. Godspeed, gentlemen. They are sent. It's going to take 17 seconds for them to arrive. All right, here we go. Lost ship. Your team cautiously aborted U-827, reporting they cannot hear any sounds from inside the ship. What do you want them to do? We have to investigate. Let's see what they come up with. All right, 99%, and the progress is done. Sink the ship. Klaus Hagenau went into the conning tower and carefully opened the closed hatch, then quickly ran to the barriers on the conning tower, clearly choking. He reported that inside the corpses of sailors, with dried blood flowing out of their eyes and lips, Klaus Hagenau had no doubt the ship was damaged by a mine, which led to the flooding of the batteries on the boat, which in turn released chlorine gas and resulted in the death of the entire crew. Wow. Okay. Well, that's pretty crazy. We are going to have to sink this ship, so let's go ahead and get an officer. Let's man the deck gun. Should be just off to the right there. There it is. Get this thing uh, done and over with. And there it goes, sinking. Boy, that's a real crying shame, but it had to be done. All right, it was tough to do that, but you know what we got to do. We got to make sure the British don't get any crucial intelligence and or technology from these U-boats. So, doing what we can. We are on the hunt again, finishing out the 2,500 kilometers inside the marked area, and then we are free to roam for the 10,000 tonnage. I'm thinking I might just patrol around here within AM89, BF1 and 2, but just in this circle, cutting the four corners. I feel like that'd be a pretty good spot for some shipping. And here we go. We have spotted one little ship just off the corner here. Let's go ahead and uh, we are at a speed of two. Let's see where we're headed. And it turns out it's another U-boat. Another friendly U-boat of ours. Look at that. Godspeed, gentlemen. Get out there and give it to the enemy. Let's go ahead and drop down to forward two. Continue our hunt, shall we? All right, we got another incoming transmission from the BDU. Let's go ahead and receive that transmission. 99 and 100. All right, new mission. Find the Empire Cormorant ship. We have information that crucial technology has been loaded onto the freighter Empire Cormorant. It must be sunk at all costs. Its predicted location, 49.86 north by 9.24 west. Ooh. Okay. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that convoy, too. It's a large convoy. 12 to 28. Holy hell. And we're heading right for it. All right, we're going to start getting up, uh, set up in position here, then. Such a large convoy. This could be either really good or really bad. Okay, so we have an officer on the hydrophone. We are going to start working our way. Let's start seeing where they are exactly. We can pinpoint them exactly. That's going to be perfect. So it looks like we found them. It's... Here's the objective. Sink the Cormon. 21, 52 hours. It's a shame it's dark. That is not what we wanted, though. All right, so we have a huge problem. It is absolutely pitch black to the point that I can't even see. I can't see anything. I can't see a bloody thing, ladies and gentlemen. We might have to trail this and wait for him to uh, wait for morning. I'm thinking that's what we're going to do. Because there's just no way. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's start turning at a speed. We'll go two. And we gotta wait till morning. What is it? 22.35. It's gonna be a long night. All right, so interesting turn of events here. We caught up to this convoy and we were speeding through. So we started, this is an old measurement just to see how far away I was because I needed to close the distance. We started way down over here and we had to follow it up it's what is it it's 7 30 in the morning 19 january and the most exciting thing though is we have spotted an aircraft carrier this thing is massive and if we can knock out an aircraft carrier holy hell that would be absolutely incredible so here it is this is the target i mean i know we have to do something else but we need to knock this out. This can't just go untouched. 
All right, we're going to recognize that as the illustrious. Let's go ahead and get a speed for it. Starting now. This is epic. If we can knock out, I don't even, what do you think? Four torpedoes is enough for this thing? Because we still need to take out the cargo ship with the technology. We don't want to fail that mission. But man, this is a huge juicy target. I'm thinking we'll do three torpedoes on this and then we will do one torpedo on the other. We just won't have time to reload because we certainly won't be able to surface. I'm sure there's some destroyers nearby that we have to watch out for. But this is going to be exciting. I can't believe we actually came across this. This is absolutely epic. They're not moving too fast though. Alright, let's find out the speed. Done. Set seven knots, I believe it. Its course is definitely right at 90. 90.1, that's fine. And a distance. Set 2.2 kilometers. Let's just verify that really quick. Front of the boat. 2.2 kilometers, absolutely it is, perfect. I think the biggest problem we have is we can't tell where the other target ship is, but I don't see anything else. Unless my eyes deceive me. I'm not seeing any kind of destroyers or anything like that. Unless there's one way out to our left here, but I don't think so. What's that? That might be the destroyer right there. There he is. Oh yeah, there's definitely destroyers. Okay. That's good to know. We'll have to sink this thing and head out fast. All right, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna have to do a two-pronged assault. We'll have to, let's sink this guy really fast. Come on, let's get this going. Go ahead and flood Go one, two, and three. 40 knots, two, three meters. Dispersion, let's do a five meter dispersion and fire. Those tar those uh, torpedoes definitely weren't warmed up, but you know what? We had to take what we could get. All right, three torpedoes away. Let's go ahead and get out of here. We are going to have to start going forward ever so slightly. And let's get the hell out of Dodge. Torpedoes are on the way. They're looking good. We will just have to... I think what we'll do is we'll run away, and then we'll head north again to try and catch these guys, and then get the second group that we need. This was just too juicy of a target. I couldn't let it go. And here we go. Moment of truth. They are all going to hit, it looks like. Oh, it looks like one torpedo was a dud because we weren't able to warm it up, but we have two torpedoes that hit its center mass. This might be the end, hopefully, of this carrier. It is taking on water. I see that it's starting to lower. Come on, guys. Good work on the uh, crewmen. We have one plane that's taken off. It looks like he's going to be the search plane for everything. And boy, were we lucky. The Victorious is sunk. I like how the planes are still uh, floating right here, but here's the evidence that it was once here. Boy, it went down fast. I couldn't even... Uh, I was paying attention to the propeller noises and trying to get away, and before I know it, Victorious is sunk. That is definitely more than 10,000 pounds or 10,000 tons. All right, I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and get another angle here. Now that we have the Victorious sunk, we need to get the other angle here, and we need to try and get... I think this is going to be our target right here. All right, we have moved in position here. Let's go ahead and start raising or getting ready to go to periscope depth. Let's lower our speed to one if we need to. Victoria sunk a value of 7,500 tons. Let's go ahead and send that off to the BDU. Oh my gosh, command is going to be happy about that, no doubt. Absolutely epic. Oh, here we go. The Coromont there. It is, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and get above the water level here. All right. We are going at a hard angle though. Let's see what we are angled at here. 
43 degrees. That's going to be a tough one, but I think we can actually manage it. Let's find out. All right, we got a timer going. I imagine the speed's going to be a lot faster now because we took out the carrier. God, I feel good about taking out that carrier. That is incredible. I know this is the objective, but I mean, come on. I, I think anybody else in my position would do the same. Technology, yes, I know, technology. But my goodness, we just took out a aircraft carrier. Nine knots, oh yeah, booking it. Course, what did we say? It was about 43 degrees, right? 42.7, 43.1, we'll set that. Distance. Set. 1.5 kilometers. Let's just go ahead and confirm that with our tool. Yep, that's perfect. All right. We're doing 40 knots. Let's do two meters. As soon as it's ready. Fire. That is away. And you know what? We have a second torpedo already loaded up. Let's go ahead and get this one going too. Fire. All right, great work. Torpedoes are away, and this time for reals though, we are bugging out completely. We do not want those destroyers or little pontoon boats getting a hold of us. Torpedoes are away though, and I gotta say, they're looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and see what comes of it. All right, moment of truth. I gotta say, that torpedo's looking pretty good right there. Come on. Yes! Fantastic. Dead in the water, and if I know, we do have another torpedo coming at it, but with how slow it's going right now, it might just overshoot it. We'll have to see. And there it is, mission complete. The Coromont is sunk. Wow, they sink fast. Look at how fast it's going under. Whoa! No wonder we never saw the Victorious go down. That's the first one we saw. You take your eyes off for it for a second, and you are done. Yes! Great friggin' work by the crew here. Let's go ahead and get a safe distance away. We'll increase speed, make sure those pontoon boats aren't coming. Yeah, that, that torpedo I just saw it. It overshot by a lot. Let's get out of sight here. We have our oxygen levels that are looking good. Fuel's okay. Electricity, battery capacity is doing well. Let's go ahead and send that off to BDU. We have 6,200 tons out of the 10,000 tons that we need. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. All right, we are safely out of the way. No planes, there was no cargo to really check. I went and zoomed in really quick to see if there was anything, but there were so many planes around that I didn't want to risk it. Carl Schmidt, his maiden voyage with his Greenhorn crew, they have done absolutely incredible. The U-96 is already starting to make a name for itself. Managing to actually come in here and sink a aircraft carrier on the first episode. I gotta be honest, this is incredible. I am really looking forward to this career. And uh, we're gonna continue patrolling the area. We still have, what, we're about three quarters of the way through with the 2,500 kilometers that we need to travel inside the area. And we need just under 4,000 more tons. God, I thought that aircraft carrier was gonna be it. Once one aircraft carrier and done, I was totally sure of it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this first episode of the new U-Boat series that I am going to start bringing out. I have had a tremendous amount of fun, and I am so thankful that all of you stopped around to check it out. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you guys are enjoying the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps me out, lets me know that you guys are enjoying it. And as I said earlier, please comment down below. Let me know if there's any thing I should know about this game, any kind of hotkeys that I should have, quick controls. Um, I'm brand new to it, so I'm learning as I'm going, but so far, it's been incredible. I loved every minute. If you guys want to see more videos like this coming out really soon, this series is going to start popping off. I'm going to get as many episodes as I can out as fast as I can. If you guys want to see those, please consider subscribing. Anyways, I'm going to get back to the patrolling. We still got a little bit to do, but the uh, so far, Captain Carl Schmidt, it's Greenhorn Crew, and the U-96, we're a force to be reckoned with, and we are going to let the allies know that they need to fear us. Anyways, that's going to do it for me, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have enjoyed it once again. I'm going to get back at it, start patrolling these seas, and until the next episode, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, everybody.